head turn. <laughs> She's cute though. share with you and this is it right here she is by sensational and she's from their curls kinks and cold line she's in the style called head turner and of course you know I have her in the color number two here now she's going to boast a realistic um, hairline as well as hair texture for chocolatey girls okay so she has like a a kinky texture to her all right so she's gonna mimic black girl hair all right so let's go ahead and get into it now this unit is curl it on safe okay you can curl it straighten it do whatever you see fit okay with any type of heating apparatus of your choice I never really do any um, heat style into these units this is a closer look at the model on the stock card okay again this is head turner all right she's a kinky texture with a lot of body I mean, she has a beautiful curl pattern to her I have been feeling this length lately nothing too long not too short but give me body give me curls okay give me a glam doll look I love that look okay so I'm just taking out her stuffing checking her out now she has ear to ear lace and a lace part we have temple combs. We have a comb in the back and an adjustable strap. Pretty standard. So this is the cap construction. This is what we got going on in here. See two combs. Well, not really temple combs, but they're at the top on either side of the part, okay? To give you a secure fit. All right, and here's a close-up look at the hair's texture okay yes pretty right very very nice I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace all right and put it on and as you see it is that light casty lace I would suggest using your wig tinting spray okay but if you don't feel like spraying that tinting spray <laughs> all around your bathroom and in the sink um, Go ahead and cut your lace once you put it on. Just go around it with a little makeup, okay? And then that's going to give it the flawless melted look, okay? Especially if you don't like gluing your wigs down. I don't really like gluing them down, but I will from time to time. I'll cut the lace and I'll be right back with her own. Okay, so this is the wig just put on with no finessing as you can see the lace is super duper light and the cap is a little more snug than I anticipated this to be um, I may have to go in and spray this with some lace tinting spray to give it a darker look so it just looks better sitting on the skin because even with makeup you can put makeup on it, but you're going to have to put a whole lot of it on it to make it look um, nice. Because if I just go straight in with a foundation stick, that might work. But for those of you who don't wear, you know, makeup a lot or you just don't have something like this laying around, this can be kind of problematic. But the hair itself is really, really nice, though. I do love it. It does look really realistic it looks like black girl hair it looks like we just had a fresh wash and got us a cute little roller set and it is it looks nice it looks nice we just have to um finesse that lace or what we could do is cut all the lace off and wear it behind the hairline a bit and that would really work okay but the hair itself is really beautiful loving it pick this up from samsbeauty.com all the information will be down below in the description box but I'm gonna put a little makeup on it and see how it looks you know for video purposes but nine times out of ten we're just gonna um, 
get rid of the lace and we're going to just push this behind the hairline a bit more because this lace is really lacy <laughs> it is doing the most so yeah and honey I just got the makeup all in the hair but that's not a problem it rubs right out I'm just rubbing it into the lace just rubbing it in rubbing it in I'm gonna do the same thing to this side here all right then let me rub this in and I'll be back and show you how this looks up close once we get it blended in but right now yes it looks a hot mess girl it looks a hot mess but it won't be we it won't be trust me once you blend it in Okay, so okay, that's looking better already. Already. Okay, she's cute though. Bam. I just wish they put darker lace on these for us, but nonetheless, it's really, really, really pretty. Just rubbing the rest of that makeup off the hair. Let's see if I can rub it down the part some. But ooh la la. She's cute though. She's cute. But this is one of those that can go real big on us if we keep running her hands through it. But nonetheless it is cute. Alright guys. Now I am back from a styling head turner the best I can. And I, I, I actually really like it. I think it came out cute. She's really cute. She's voluminous. She's big. She's she's just cute. So I wiped out some of the makeup off the baby hairs and kind of combed them down a bit to make it look that much more realistic around the front. And it came out fabulous. So I do like the wig. You just have to finesse the lace with your wig tinting spray or your makeup. Okay. Just do the makeup before you put it on and it'll be absolutely fabulous. I love this unit. Let me show you the back. Alright, so this unit is really full. I give it about 18 to 20 inches curled like this. But yeah, it is really pretty. So if you wanted to re-dip the curls or tighten them up, you could definitely, definitely do that. But I really wouldn't recommend using a curling iron. I just use cold wave rod rollers and dip them in boiling hot water. That's going to give you the cutesy, cutesy look that you're looking for and kind of keep the yakky texture to the unit but nonetheless i really like it i think it's cute let me know what you think down below of head turner okay is this one of those wigs you can see in your collection i like it this is one of those that i'd wear on occasion okay really really nice <laughs> loving it well that is it for me be sure to check out sam's beauty be sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads until next time i will see you in my next video and there will definitely be another video bye